All right. Uh, we are going to look at uh, electrical code section 14 and when we're dealing with tap conductors, and in particular tap conductors that are longer than 3 meters but not longer than 7.5 meters. So to do this we are going to be focusing in on rule 14-100C. Okay, so this is the same if you watch the previous video, the exact same loads that we had on the previous video, but this time slightly different, okay? And the difference is that all taps from the splitter uh, are not longer than 7.5, but more than 3, all right? So particularly, let's go ahead and read through this rule, 14100C and items 1 and 2. So it says, where the smaller conductor has an ampacity not less than one-third of the larger conductor from which it is supplied. So recall again, we are dealing with this tap conductor right here that goes to our first disconnect here, fusible disconnect. So what's the size of this wire? So the first thing it says is that in, in, as soon as we go over three, but not more than seven and a half, this tap conductor, or all of these tap conductors, the minimum is one-third the ampacity of the feeder conductor. And in this case, the feeder conductor is 500 kc mil. Okay? And then the second part of this rule, it says suitably protect from mechanical damage, not more than 7.5 meter long, terminates in a single overcurrent device rated or set at a value not exceeding the ampacity of the conductor, but beyond the single overcurrent device, the conductor shall be permitted to supply any number of overcurrents. Okay. So let's go ahead and start out here. Um, the critical thing here is this is the one-third rule, okay? So if we go to uh, table two, once again, we're going to use uh, RW90. All terminations are 75 degrees Celsius, okay? So we could use uh, RW75 or R75 as well. Um, go to the 75 degree column. We look up the ampacity of our 500 kc mil we'll see that it'd give us 380 amps. If I divide that by 3 to get one-third of that, it comes to 126.67 amp minimum, okay? So that's one of our minimums here, okay? The other one is that it has to be able to supply the load, okay? So let's go ahead and we'll start from the load here again. It says uh, here we have a 50 amp non-continuous load just like we did before. So we can size our conductor directly off the 15 amp. So going to table two for copper, remember all these are copper, um, we would see that we would need a number eight, which is good to 50 amps. Uh, sizing the overcurrent. So we'd have to, if there's a 50 amp overcurrent available, we could, we'd have to size that at 50 or use table 13. It'll lead you to the same place. So 50 amp overcurrent, so fuse, fuse here. And to the disconnect we need for it is a 60 amp. No real bearing on this one, okay, uh, for the size of this tap conductor. If you recall, when it was less than 3 meters, we had to size this wire based off this uh, size of this uh, fusible disconnect ampacity. But uh, in this case, you can see that if we were to do that, that would give us number 6s, which is our good to 65 amp. Well, that is not one-third the ampacity of the 500 kc mil. So we have to bump this tap conductor up to uh, a minimum opacity of 126.67 amps. All right. So if we go to table two and we look that up under the 75 degree column, you'll see that we would have to select a number one. Number ones are good to 130 amp, and that's definitely within the one third of our of our 500 kc mil. So number ones. Um, here's our 100 amp panel and 100 amp overcurrent on it. So under normal conditions, if this was less than three meters, we could just go with number threes. And the number threes are good to 100 amp. But once again, this tap conductor is greater than three meters. So our minimum opacity is 126.67 amps. So we'd have to pull number ones out again. All right. 60 amp continuous load, well, we'd have to take 60 amp, divide that by 0.8, so we'd have a minimum of 75 amp. 
going to table two, we need uh, number fours, which are good to 85 amp. So we use our 85 amp to size our fuse. There's no 85 amp fuse available. So we use table 13, which says we can bump it up to a 90. For that 90 amp fuse, I have to put it in a 100 amp disconnect. Okay. So um, if it was like the first part uh, B of this rule, we could go with uh, number threes again, but it's not. That's not large enough because that's not one third. So we have to go up to the one third again. So number ones, we'd have to select 130 amp. They rate it up. Okay, the last one, the 200 amp panel here. Well, um, to safely carry this load of this 200 amp panel, we would have to go to table two and look up under the 75 degree column, 200 amps. You'd see that we would have to pull three aughts out and they are rated at 200 amp. And the 200 amp exceeds the one third, so we're good to go. So this one's sized based off the load and it exceeds the one third of our 500 KC mil. So 200 amps there. Hopefully that helps you out. We'll see you on the next video.